A hash is a data structure, also called a map, which is used to store keys and the values that are associated with those keys. In this example, the symbol John and the symbol Mary are the keys, and the values B plus and A minus are the values associated with each of those keys. I can use the size method to get the number of key value pairs in the hash, in this case two, and the length method does the same thing. If I want to print out only the keys in the hash, I can use the each key method, which calls this block for each of the keys in the hash, and in the output we see the two keys, John and Mary, have been printed out. Similarly, there's a corresponding each value method, and here I see the two grades that correspond to the keys, and I can also use the each method, which calls the block for each key in the hash, and passes the key value pair as parameters. So here we see the output from the two key value pairs separated by a colon and a space. I can check for the existence of a key using the hasKey method, or for a value using the hasValue method. I can get an array populated with all of the keys from the hash using the keys method. And similarly, I can get an array populated with all of the values from the hash using the values method. And we can use the select method to return a new hash consisting of key value pairs from the original hash for which this block returns true. And in this case, we're testing for the value of each key value pair to be equal to the symbol B+. So we want all B+, students to be returned into a new hash, and then we print that out as a string. And we see from the output that that selected the element in which John was the key. Once we've defined a hash, we can add a new key value pair to the hash using a similar type of notation to what we use with arrays with square brackets followed by an equal sign and the key inside the brackets and the value on the right hand side of the equal sign. And if we print out the hash as a string, we see the new key value pair has been added. And we can use the same notation for changing the value associated with a key, as we do on this line where we change the value that's associated with the key John from B plus to B. And in the output here, we see that the value has been updated. And we can also use the store method to add a new key value pair or to update an existing pair. On this line, I'm using the store method to insert the new key value combination with BERT as the key and C- as the value. And on this line, I'm using the store method to update the key value pair in which John is the key, and the new grade associated with that key is B, and the output reflects those changes.